meebelief is net, ek doen wat ek wil doen, en ek doen nie een ding om van die niks ene te wees nie. Ek doen dit vir myself. Ek doen dit vir myself om vir myself happy te maak, nie vir die next person. I think it is a whole lot easier for a man my age to go and reinvent a new side of his physicality than it is for a woman my age, and I'm struggling with that hugely. I do believe that the constraint around all of that is that it's just a lot tougher for a woman to think about possibly sharing that aspect of herself again with somebody yeah, she was after a, a partnership of years. so long was has dissolved. She was right? She didn't go to school. She was seven years old when she worked in the farmer's kitchen or standing on a little wooden kasi to get to the top of a zinc in a kitchen. So I closed my Facebook off, but I love Twitter. I curate my timeline according to um, what I like to see on it, and there's some quite hardcore political stuff that comes up on my timeline. It takes me to a link on the internet. And so um, that's where I kind of do a lot of my reading now. I can tis and gangsta. And then I allow my children and definitely to um, and we clay and die. influence me. But I can't make kids so great. No bad calls you die. So I think um, growing up in a secure and safe environment when it came to men didn't actually make a difference. I was still exposed to abuse, emotional, physical, um, even a sexual assault at the hands of my partner, the men that I'd chosen to be with. It's definitely not a mystery for me. Yeah. In all its forms, formats, you know, my father forcing himself on my mother, and she not often, often not wanting became to. a scenario of um, then the kind of physical abuse as well. Um, and eventually we ganged up against the perpetrator, the perp, my father, and said to him, enough now do something again and we're going to, all three of us together, dawn the hell out of you. Um, and then, unfortunately, I think the verbal abuse continued for a long while, but the physical oh, abuse stopped. Yeah, he was a, a black belt in judo. In the road, he didn't even wait till I get, got in, into the yard. He somehow beat me outside here in the road. The people was walking up and down. Then I would come and stand in front of him. Then he would say to me, come near. I'm calling you. I'm already in front of him. And I will stand in front of him and chat like. He will say, come nearer so that I can be right in his, in a position when he slaps me. And if I'm in front of me, he will slap me through my face, down to the ground. And when I go down, he will kick me up. He didn't, he didn't uh, uh, beat me like a uh, my brother was beat you with a belt uh, or something. strict as well. He my sister was strict. And if I he do my cock, like I never run to him, you know, for protection. Like he's no, fighting with a man. I'll stand my man outside. I don't run to him. If it's weak, I become too difficult, then I will go to one of them. And they will stand up because we love to one another. We really deeply I do believe that my children that's what my mother taught us have had obviously a different and an alternative experience, given that they come from uh, mixed race parents. Um, it's probably been a lot more difficult for them than it has been for me to raise them. I can only hope that the love and the compassion and the understanding of human psyche and human relationships are more stable and good stead. I would imagine my major preoccupation being how do I stay safe in 2016, in the month of August, and every day? During one of the sessions that I had with my therapist, I realized that I actually needed a little, little bit more help other than talking. And so um, a chemical romance was born. Not the next person can even you come see what you're doing. The next one can must never you come see what you're doing. And they may beat what they will do. Omdat je verkeerd gedoen dat het met het man, maar niet nog bang is hij. Die hele zee die waarheid maar ik zie hem, maar het is nothing like the truth.
dan moet je van mijn schuld gaan schreeuwen. Ik ga toch slaan. <laughs>